Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're continuing the preparation for the GCSE exam this week on paper two. And another topic that was suggested was expanding triple brackets. So uh, we're going to look at the three brackets here. I've got x plus three, x minus two, x plus four. But if you look online at a number of other websites, there are many more examples than this as well. Um, the first thing I would do is just look at the first two brackets and expand them as you do uh, when you're expanding just double brackets if I cover that uh, third one there. And I'll do the foil or the smiley uh, method um, which makes sure that you every term in the first bracket is multiplied by every term in the second. So I'm just joining the links there to show which term is going with which. Make sure you end up with four terms x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6 put those in brackets because I know they're going to multiply by that. So whichever method you do to expand those two brackets, just make sure that you have four terms and that every term in this bracket is multiplied by every term in that one. Now it does reduce to three terms because these are like terms. So I'm going to click those together and I'm going to have that trinomial multiplied by that. But again, every term in this bracket must multiply by every term there. So now I'm going to have two 3, 4, 5, I should now have 6 terms. So I should have x cubed plus 4x plus x squared plus 4x minus 6x minus 24. And I should have one term that has a cubic, one term that is constant, and uh, there should be two terms that are, that should actually be a squared, two terms that have squares on them. And let's just check that I've got that right. x cubed, 4x squared, x squared minus 6x, and then 4x minus 24. Okay, um, so one cubic, one constant, two quadratic, uh, and uh, two linear. And that would then reduce to x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 24. So thanks for watching. That's expanding triple brackets, treating a pair of brackets first using whatever method you use, foil or smiley method, um, and then expanding that third bracket there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and good luck for your GCC exams.